What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, the Ninja Gamer. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox executor with Cloudy API and super advanced, like, um, Monaco. So it's going to look something like this. This is Rhinox. This is my official executor. If anybody wants to use it, it's in my Discord. But the Monaco that I'm going to show you guys how to use is going to look like this. It has, it's really smooth. It has auto completion. It's super nice. And it just makes your executor look way better and way more professional so i want to show you guys how to add this and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it so the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up visual studio and like always make a new project push create a new project all right so once you get to here just go to windows forms app and if that doesn't show up in your site just go up to the top where it says search for templates type in windows forms app and then make sure it says dot net framework at the, at the side of it and it's gonna be c sharp now so like that and push next and now you can just name it to Monaco plus cloudy oh yeah all right now just push create and it should be on dot net framework 4.8 or whatever the most recent um, releases and now that you're in here the first thing you want to do is um I thought Monaco so the first thing you want to do is you're gonna need some nug nougat packages I don't know how you say it but go up to where it says tools at the top right here tools go down where it says nougat package manager go to the right where it says manage nougat packages for solution click that and when you're here, you're going to automatically be installed, so just go to Browse. And first, just type in Web View 2. And then, well, that'll come up, and just type on Microsoft.Web.WebView2. Click on it, and just select Project, and then do Install. Now, the console will show up, and then it's going to ask you to, to apply it. So just push Apply, and then it'll uh, install it for you. And when that's done, now the next thing you want to do is just close that out and the first thing it should be here is new newtonsoft.json and that's a that, yeah if that's not there just search it up and then click on it and then install it again and then push apply and now that's installed and the last package we're going to want is ceph sharp so type ceph sharp and then do ceph and click on that and push install one more time and now after that all installs it's gonna install two more uh, chromium embedded framework and it's gonna make your project a little bit bigger but you don't really need the DLLs that it's gonna add so you can just delete those delete those later and now this one takes a little bit because it's a little bit bigger but once it all the way installs um, perfect now now that that's all installed Go here at the top of your code, double click on it, and at the top, you do using, sorry my computer's glitchy, using new Tensoft, and then if you see this little suggestion, just push enter, dot, JSON, and then do a uh, semicolon, right there. And now this should get rid of most of your errors, and now let's just add or what view too so just in the toolbox if you don't see this just go to view uh toolbox uh, right here but you probably do see it so go to toolbox search web view 2 now grab grab that drag it in there size it to whatever you want i'm just gonna make this big like that and then um now that you have this just at the top where it says web view 21 name that to editor and then put enter and now that we have that then the first thing we should do is go back to your code and then I'm gonna have like a text file that you guys can look into and the first thing you want to copy is init Monaco initialize so just copy all of this and then now you can just put it in empty any empty space I'm just gonna do it below this paste that in and then I have an error because it says directory and the reason is because I'm not using system.io, so it can't look in my computer's um, files. So just do using system 
Io. Just like that. Get rid of your errors. Perfect. And it's looking for inside of your debug folder, it's looking for a folder called editor, and then inside of that editor folder, a file called index.html. So now what you, you should go do is go to the um, description, download the zip file, it's gonna be called editor.zip. Just download that and then push the extract all extract and then extract it and now it should come for this folder right here just grab that push copy and then now exit out of this and now back in your project go up here to the open file button and go bin debug right click on any empty space and push paste and now it should paste that in there and then you just push cancel and now that should be working and now right now um Hold on, it won't yet. So first, up here where it says form one, initialize component, do initialize async. And then I'm using my arrow keys to select this and then just enter and then tab. Initialize async and then the that. Okay. Anyways, now it should like like this. And now if you push start, let's just see real quick. Um this is really easy to use. And as you can see, we already have hold on one eleven second um we already have no way hold on oh there we go now as you can see jesus as you can see we have monica working already it says made by the ugly gamer but I'm just gonna change it for the actual zip file that you guys are gonna download just to do like, um, push the X, I don't know. Anyways, you guys can change this and I'll show you how later. But now, as you can see, smooth, it looks great. Auto completion, you have this already. Great, it looks awesome. And also you guys can change this background color, you can change what this says. It's all customizable as long as you know what you're doing. So now, we can just exit out of that. And, but we have Monaco, but it, the execute button doesn't work, nothing's gonna work. So now let's add those buttons. First, let's add Cloudy API, and this is a really good API. It works for me, it works for Runix, which is mine. Um, so yeah, let's add it real quick. So back, go back to the description. Um, I don't know if I can do a zip file, but hold on. Go back to the description, and then there will be a zip folder with these two files in there. It's gonna be um oh wait one sec. There's gonna be a no way why am I so blind? There's gonna be CX APIs.dll and a bin folder. Just extract the zip file and then copy these two files from there. Go to your open file button here, go to bin, debug, and then empty space and paste. It's gonna paste that in there. And now you can just push cancel, go to solution explorer. If you don't see that, just go to view Solution Explorer at the top, or Control or Alt L, and then right-click on the the bold name of your thing. Actually, don't do that. Just kidding. Go to References, and then do right-click, Add Reference, push Browse, and now it should um, now appear. Just go to your repos. And if you don't see that, if you don't know where to go, then it's located in um, here. Users. Your username and then down here in source at the bottom source repos and then open up yours go to go to tut monaco cloudy and then go to bin debug and now scroll down to see cx apis .dll, push add okay perfect and now at the top of your code do using cx api and then that boom good and now we can make our inject button or execute button. And now, real quick, I'm just gonna clean up this UI. So, um, the default color of Monaco, I think, is I forgot what it was. Default color, it's like 2020 or something. So, if you want the Monaco and the background to look the same, then you can just set your background color to 20, 20, 20. Now they're like the same color. And now, um. I'm just gonna make this quick on that and then I'm gonna make the 
the one border style to none. But now it's already looking better. And now we can just make the buttons. So let's just make a button real quick. Button. Drag that in there. You guys can do the gun of two buttons too, it doesn't matter. Those just look better, cleaner UI and stuff. Let's make this one inject. Inject. Alright, perfect. And now I'm just gonna make the back color to like just kidding. Make it 30, 30. 30, it's a nice color. Make the four color to white. Okay, it looks really bad right now, but I don't know, I'm just gonna get black. Holy, that looks so bad. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's just a simple one. You can make better ones with like gonna. And then let's just copy that one. Click on it, push control C, control V, and then let's make execute button. Name this one execute. Exit. Holy. Execute. Dear lord, I'm so bad at spelling. Do they get copy? Um, let's make this clear text. Clear text. If you guys want to make a more advanced UI, um, you can watch my, my, I think it was my last video, but just don't use the Monaco from that, because the Monaco is, is really bad. It's so horrible. But, clear text. Let's make two more. Let's make an open file button. Open file. Last one, fellas. Um, save file. Perfect. And now, you guys want to write any code, I made it easy for you guys, so just go to your, the, your codes.txt and then right here, where it says execute, just copy that. Copy. Double click on your execute button, paste this in, and that's you're gonna get an error, and that's because right here it says private void, but you're supposed to do private async void. Now that'll get rid of your error. Perfect. Next, let's do clear text. Double click on that, go back to your codes, clear text, copy that. Boom, paste, private async void. Yes, you guys got it. Async void. Next, let's do our open file. The bottom here. Copy that. Boom, boom, boom. Paste that in. Private async void. Async void. And last, let's do save file. Up here, copy all of this. It's pretty long. Copy that. Boom, boom. Private async void. Basic. Now, for the inject button, the most important one, I'd, um, just double click on that and do four functions dot inject. Boom. Parentheses, whatever these are called, and semicolon. Perfect. Now, everything should be working great. We can try it out real quick. Let's just start this up. And now, uh, when we start it, got this, and it's gonna load it up. It's kind of slow, but it's fine. Um, now we can just—if you do clear text, and clear, working great. If you do open file, sorry, it's loading. Um, we can just open our code.txt. What the? Hold on, wait a minute. Why is that one not working? Yeah, that must be my computer. Anyways, let's just try it out real quick and try it out in Roblox. I can't drag it right now because I this is just a simple one for Monaco mostly. But you can watch my other videos and show how to drag it, make it round, other stuff like that. We'll open up Roblox. Holy crap, I keep missing things. Alright, so before you do that, before you, um, you're probably in this part of the video, um, before you flip and go in a game and try to inject, go to your project, um, 
go to Solution Explorer. If you don't see that, just push View. Um, my God, Solution Explorer, or you can just do Control Alt L. Right click on your project name in bold. Go down to Properties. Go to when it opens this up, it's working on it. Come on, computer. One sec. Holy, one sec. Holy, that took like 10 minutes. Oh my god, I have to get a flipping snack. Alright, once you're here, it's gonna go to the application tab and then switch to the build tab. Oh my god. And then where it says platform target, it's gonna say any CPU. Switch that to x64. Push start again, and on with the mother flipping video. All right, so once you've done that, and you're in the flipping game, push inject. She get a, a little message. This says run it ejected successfully because um, it is from my executor. You guys can change it if you want. I could show you how in another video, or you can just join my Discord and I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, this should work all good. Um, let me just do clear text. And I'll do print. Hello. This flipping works. Oops. Alright. And then, as you can see, it's working good. Anyways, and I'll tell you, make an executor with Cloudy API and a really nice uh, Monaco. Let me know if you guys need any help and join the Discord and I'll help you guys out as best as I can. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, fellas. My bad. I was editing the video and I realized that I forgot to show you guys how to, like, edit Monaco to do your text and, like, your colors and stuff. So, go to your repos, go to your, um, your project, go to bin, debug, editor, and then right here in index.html, click on that just once and then right click go down to where it says edit in notepad for that and now it'll just be all this if you guys don't know what this stuff is um it's okay you guys can just it, this is simple but right here too i added this just for run x but you can remove this if you guys want and also right here is the background color right here you can change that to whatever color you want and down here, where you see all these tokens, below this, right here, you can set the editor background. So, set this to whatever color you want it to be, and then do the mini-map background. I have it disabled, but you can enable it to um, up here. If you want to have the um, mini-map enabled, uh, where is it? Just do Control F, and then type in mini-map. And then just and then right here where it says enabled wait a minute wait a minute holy crap okay oh wait up here where it says mini map enabled false I have it not enabled you can just change this to true if you want it on um, for the text right here above it you can change this inside of these little parentheses to whatever you want I'm just gonna make it for you guys to say um, like print hello or something so it's easier to print stuff anyways I think you can edit how you can edit it and customize it you guys can look through this and like change whatever you guys want as long as it as long as it's as long oh my god I'm so retarded okay as long as it is just the colors and stuff like this just don't delete anything as long as um, unless you know what you're doing okay so yeah Anyways, 